the Reverend that invented bourbon whiskey. Hey everybody, this is Colonel Carson with Family Tree Nuts, and I'm at Royal Springs Park in downtown Georgetown, Kentucky. You see the old bridge back there behind me? It's the oldest bridge in Kentucky, and it was built around the year 1800. And that's Royal Spring right there, the site of the first settlement here of Georgetown, and a very relevant spot for Reverend Elijah Craig. Who is Reverend Elijah Craig? Well, he was born in 1738 in Orange County, Virginia. He was the fifth child of Polly Hawkins and Talifero or Tolliver Craig Sr. When he was 28 years old, he was converted to the Baptist faith and he began to hold meetings in a tobacco barn. His brothers, Lewis and Joseph Craig were also preachers. His brother Lewis and others were actually jailed for about a month for preaching without a license. Well, technically, preaching without a license from the Anglican Church and disturbing the peace. The prosecutor said they were incapable of meeting a man on the road without ramming the scripture down his throat. In 1771, Elijah became ordained and the pastor of Blue Run Church. He also was jailed twice for preaching without a license. In 1774, he was elected with John Waller as apostles to evangelize the north of the James River in Virginia. Baptists were often persecuted because they held mixed congregation, blacks and whites, and they often encouraged members to free their slaves or at least treat them very well. Elijah worked as a liaison between the churches and the newly formed Virginia legislature. He helped to protect religious freedom in the brand new country. Once freedom of religion was established, the Baptist membership grew. In 1781, Elijah's brother Lewis led a group of 600 people to Kentucky. They were called the Traveling Church. They originally settled at Gilbert's Creek, south of Lancaster, on Kentucky 39 on the way to Crab Orchard. They built a blockhouse that was also used as a church and established Craig's Station. The congregation moved two years later to establish more churches, and many of those churches are still around today. Then in 1782, Reverend Elijah Craig led his congregation to a thousand acres in modern day Scott County, Kentucky, and they established a town that they named Lebanon. You might remember Lebanon as the land of milk and honey from the Bible. Later, the town changed its name to Georgetown after President George Washington. In 1786, Elijah Craig became the pastor of Great Crossing Baptist Church. It's still there today. Do you know who else was once the pastor at Great Crossing Baptist Church? The father of Frank and Jesse James. That's right, those outlaws were PKs or preacher's kids. Imagine that. Now, Reverend Craig actually ended up getting excommunicated from his church. Nobody really knows why he was excommunicated from the congregation. Some say that he was getting a little bit too big for his britches due to the amount of wealth that he had from all of his businesses in Georgetown. But later, in 1795, Reverend Craig and 35 others founded McConnell's Run Baptist Church. This church eventually became Stamping Ground Baptist and is now called Penn Memorial Baptist. We actually have a video about the history of this church. By the way, if you like these types of videos, make sure you go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Click that little bell so you get notifications as to when we post new videos. In 1787, he established the first classical school in Kentucky, here at Royal Springs, right here. Later, that school became known as the Rittenhouse Academy, and it eventually became Georgetown College, which is still here today, just about a mile from where we are. Georgetown College was the first Baptist college west of the Allegheny Mountains, and Reverend Elijah Craig donated a land for the school. Craig was a big time entrepreneur, and he built Kentucky's first fulling mill, and also the first paper mill west of the Alleghenies. He also built the first rope walk, and he even built the first grist mill in Georgetown. 
Not only that, Reverend Craig owned a ferry over the Kentucky River. He had over 4,000 acres and he owned a retail store in Frankfurt. He also helped found the fire department and he was the very first fire chief of Georgetown, Kentucky. Then in 1789, he did what he is absolutely the most famous for. He founded a distillery. Many say that he is the father of bourbon. They say he is the first person to age corn liquor and charred barrels. The charred barrels give the whiskey its unique flavor and coloring of the bourbon whiskey that we know today. Now, still others say that this is just a legend. And bourbon was really created for the first time in Paris, Kentucky, the next major town over. There are lots of those that say, no way that Elijah Craig is the father of bourbon. It happens to be this guy or this guy. We will probably never know for sure. But what definitely is for sure is he was one of the first people to ever distill bourbon whiskey. He's even celebrated today with his own brand. Elijah Craig Bourbon is produced in his honor by Heaven Hill Distilleries. The 12-year small batch is the most common, but the 18-year is the oldest single barrel bourbon in the world. It is not known how, but Craig lost most of his wealth before his death. Craig died in 1808 and his burial is unknown. Isn't that amazing? Somebody that was so influential, somebody that we remember two centuries later, and we don't even know where his final resting place is. So here we are at Royal Springs Park in Georgetown, Kentucky, the site of the beginning of Georgetown, the site of so many of Reverend Elijah Craig's industries, the site of the oldest bridge in Kentucky, over 200 years old. It's amazing to think that every day people drive over this bridge and have no idea what they're driving on. I recommend that you come and take some time to really check out this bridge. The Reverend Elijah Craig is a very interesting and controversial person of history. There was times when many people loved him and many people hated him. He had success and he had failure and he really lived. And we're glad to help out to keep his legacy alive and remember family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. <laughs>